beautiful Capricorns, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is new love as well as a new beginning in love, however it resonates. The energy for you is new life. Woo hoo hoo, I like it. Perfect card from the wisdom of the oracle. Okay, but we still have somebody orphaned here. Somebody's feeling very left out in the cold here, Capricorn. So for those of you who are interested in the next two-year cycle of the eclipses, there is a link to the video at the end of this video. Okay, imagine. Imagine, okay, so if you can't see it and you, you can't believe it, you can't manifest it. So we have a really clear message from Spirit here that you're going to be taking a risk coming to the edge. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have here. Capricorn, messages for our Capricorn friends, Spirit. What are the messages that Capricorn needs at this time for a new beginning in an old love or a brand new love coming in? So let's see. I am getting messages for both in each reading, oddly enough. Virgo just had uh, a big message. So did Taurus. So that's what I, it's happening. So we'll see if it happens with you bottom of the deck okay look at that page of swords overall energy coming into the reading you've left something behind you're traveling metaphorically speaking into your future and you have all the tools to create what you want all right so let's look and see here the energy look at that Hierophant, taurus energy Vir uh, gemini energy Pisces energy, Virgo, and Gemini energy. But you are destined and looking for a love relationship that will manifest it into a marriage long-term commitment with somebody who shares your beliefs. Six of Swords moving away metaphorically at least from a situation, person, place, something that was painful for you, healing energy. Sometimes you move physically when I see this card. The Sun card, happiest card in the deck, a day at the beach, joyfulness. This is a very important card for long-term happiness in a relationship. I love to see it, especially with a relationship that is uh, desired in marriage. It portends a very good opportunity to go the distance with a life partner. The Three of Coins, Capricorn, there you are in your reading. You want someone that you can work with, somebody who is a team player, someone who brings uh, something lovely to the table as you do. We have the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Nice. We love that Sagittarius energy. King of Swords, you are looking for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That is Aquarius energy. You're being very detached. You're going to judge people on their actions and how honest you think they are, which is, of course, appropriate. All right, so we have throwing caution to the winds. Look at that Sagittarius energy. So you may be dealing with one of the signs that I've mentioned. But it is, you know, having fun, wanting to really love your life, wanting to have this energy of joyfulness, you know, newness, waking up, stretching, and feel like you have a beautiful day in, in front of you, Capricorn. The death card, Scorpio energy, so a death and rebirth. So for many of you, it's going to be the same thing as it was for Virgo and Taurus. Uh, and that is, you know, an, an old love is still trying to linger in your energy or tries to come back, but a new love is here. Nice world card. Most successful, fabulous card in the deck for a reading. It not only, you know, we always say, oh, a cycle closes and another begins. Well, these are life-altering cycles. So this is a cycle in which you are closing out very successfully. It's sort of like winning the Academy Award and you're a screenwriter. So Monday you'll start a new cycle, you know, or, you know, writing a new screenplay. It's, it's that kind of energy, highly successful energy. And that is your outcome card. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what we have here. Capricorn, Capricorn, your season is around the corner, my friends. Really excited to do some astrology for you. Let's see, Capricorn. All right, so what are the energies? Why do you have the Page of Swords? That is seeking knowledge and enlightenment. Okay, and can be online, typically. Seven of Coins, so it does look like for some of you, you're investing in dating somebody you've met online or somebody who's contacted you from the past that you already know. 
uh, who's found you on Facebook or on Messenger or Instagram. Six of Cups, okay, you're walking away from something that was very unsatisfying uh, with somebody that it looks like you had a relationship with for a long time. There is a soulmate energy in here. I would, you know, that's very clearly a soulmate card with somebody you found very unusual. Why, why did you walk away, though? What is that about? Let's see. Ah, Ace of Swords, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Innocence of Wands, okay. Maybe somebody was just being playful. Maybe they weren't in the space that you're in in terms of wanting a serious relationship. So it looks for some of you as though you walked away from that energy. We have it here also. We also have the Hanged Man. So it does, I'm going to put that right there since we were talking about it. The Six of Swords is interesting. It comes up twice, both as a clarifier and a card of movement forward. The turtle moves slowly but very efficiently through that water. Okay. We have the Heart of Cups, so the Queen of Cups here. You want to manifest somebody who's very loving, who's very attentive, who likes to nurture, you know, somebody who would be a good mom. A good wife, a good mother, a good friend, you know, somebody who would make a good life partner here, somebody who's invested. So the hair font card, why is it here? Two of Wands. Oh, you have to choose. <laughs> I this is it's just a theme right now, and it's also a theme of our Taurus uh our, just our latest eclipse on the Taurus uh, Scorpio axis. It's the theme of the next two years is choices. Okay, so it's going to be, it's a thing. It's not a passing thing. It's a big thing. Okay, so we have two of coins. Again, uh, looks like you're going to be dating two different people, considering them both very carefully. Again, Capricorn, that's your energy. Why do we have the two of coins here? Ah, four of cups. There's somebody that you're unhappy with. Somebody whose cup of love you just aren't necessarily willing to take. So why do we have that Four of Cups here? Ah, again, we have this issue with truth here. The movement, somebody wants to come in and talk to you very swiftly, but we have truth issues here that you may be having with somebody you thought was a little bit too naive or didn't take things seriously enough. The Three of Coins, why is it here? Spirit of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Daddy Energy. That is the energy of the patriarch of a family. The fatherhood card, the daddy card, very nurturing energy, very powerful, very necessary to a long-term commitment. Taurus, Taurus energy, very serious energy. The ace of, or the, excuse me, page of cups. It looks like you have a chance meeting with somebody younger than you. It's very sweet that has a, you know, they develop a crush on you. You develop a crush on them. The strength card, Leo energy, nice. So you're being very intellectual, head over heart right now, but we also see you in the energy that you want something to work. You have fire in your belly, and the person that you're, is going to, you're going to choose appears to be either a Leo or Aquarius energy in their charts, but somebody who tells the truth and somebody who has the courage and the tenacity and the dire, desire to go to the distance with you. Why is a hanged man... Why are you looking at this page of wands as somebody that sort of surprised you in an unpleasant way? And I say unpleasant. The hanged man is Pisces energy. It's looking at things from a different perspective. But somebody gave you a very cartoon punch to the head because we see these stars above the hanged man's head. Uh, we also see Spirit of Cups, nice energy. So it does look like you may be dealing with a Scorpio energy here because we have the Death card and the King of Cups. But we also see that that might have been the person that you're walking away from. So, you know, take it as it resonates. And remember, card readings are, temp are usually predictive. You're not going to know everything in a card reading. If it's a good card reading, hopefully you don't know everything. So we have. It gives you something to look forward to. So we really have here, you are you are single, ready to mingle. You're very attractive. The persons that you're interested in are very, very high-level pre-empress energy. 
accomplished Capricorn. That's kind of typical of you guys. You know, you don't like too much frivolity. I mean, not you guys can have great fun, but you like people who are accomplished and pay attention to the coin. And you want them to be worthy of your choices. Look at that. Three of coins. Three of wands. Your ship comes in. So you're getting what you want here. Stepping into a brand new lovely cycle. You are making a head over heart decision. We do have the king of swords here twice, Capricorn. You are definitely on the lookout, literally, for someone who tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That world card, why is it here? Judgment card. See, you're making a choice. Absolutely making a choice. You have to come to the edge here. There has been a situation that I think you've already dealt with for most of you in which somebody might have walked away from you and now they want to come back in. They may be acting all like cute, like nothing happened, as if it never happened. And I really feel that that puts you very much on edge you know, coming to the edge, but I'm really seeing you thinking clearly about wanting this new person, closing out that cycle, making a judgment call not to let this person back in. It's how I'm reading it, but you know, you get to decide what you want to do. Free will is a big part of, it's, it's everything, right? So let's see why we have the orphaned card here. We have eight of wands. Ooh, somebody's coming in fast. They are ardent, they are passionate, they want to communicate, they want to have fun, they want to make love all night long. Let's see, tell us something else about that. The movement of pentacles. So this is somebody who might have taken too long. We're really getting the energy here of the knight of pentacles, the slowest of the knights moving. And it looks as though they may have been so slow that they were, that some for a while, so for some of you they will have dealt already they may have ended a marriage or they may have been going through a divorce. We see your person is now very open. Whoops, we need to pull those in more so you can see them better. All right. So, yeah, so it looks like whoever it is that walked away from you had business to take care of. It was legitimate, but I, they weren't honest with you fully is what I'm getting here. And you're just not having it. They may not, you may have met somebody on a dating website and they didn't disclose to you that they were still married. They might have said, oh, I'm single. You know, and a lot of people, once they file divorce, technically, you know, you're free to do as you want. But if they didn't disclose it, that's certainly not cool. All right. Yeah, nine of wands. This person has fire in their belly. They really care. They want you. Coming to the edge. Wheel of fortune. You know, for some of you, you'll hear this person out. Will you let them have another chance? Heart of Swords, not likely. We have the Libra Queen here. The Judgment card is here. I feel as though you're really letting go of that person. Your feeling is, is hey, you're the one who walked away, and so I'm just going to let it be. I, wanna, I want to be with someone, said Capricorn, who wants to be with me. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. It looks like an exciting time in your life. Very dramatic time in which you are ascending. Look at this. We've got so many major arcanas here. The Magician, the Death card, Death and Rebirth, the card of great happiness, the card of the next successful cycle. And, um, you know, this, this Hierophant is a big deal. Sun card, very happy card. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, my friends. So there you have it, Capricorn. It's been a joy sending you love from Chicago, where I'm broadcasting. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again, Capricorn. Bye-bye.